Today I'm going to show you how to properly import CDs with multiple uh, discs in iTunes. If you've ever you had an album that has multiple discs or something, or perhaps a soundtrack that's got multiple discs, and you want to make sure that you import it correctly so that it spans across into one album, but spanning all four discs without having to rename anything, this is how you do it. And I'm going to show you how to do it correctly when you import it, and then how to fix it for anything that hasn't been imported yet. So the very first thing I'm going to do, we're going to take our La Mulana soundtrack, and we're going to just put it in the drive here. And then, in just a moment, the CD is going to pop up. And it's going to say, would you like to import the CD La Mulana 1 into your iTunes library? We're going to hit no. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit CD info. And here, so you can see, this is listed as La Mulana 1. Oftentimes you'll see where someone has put in the track data as La Mulana original soundtrack disc 1 with uh, that in brackets or something. I, so first thing you want to do is you want to remove that disc 1. Uh, in this case, this is just says La Mulana 1. What they've done on this one, there's four discs for this, and they're in two jewel cases, so they named disc 1 and 2 La Mulana 1, and disc 3 and 0, because they decided to do something weird, uh, 3 and 0 as 2. But anyway, we're going to change this from that to La Mulana OST. Or we'll maybe make it original soundtrack. How about that? Okay. And then we're going to down here. This is the very important part. It says disc number one of one. By default, it's going to be disc number one of one, unless iTunes already knows that it's a compilation or it's a multiple disc uh, set. We're going to change this to disc one of two. And that's all you need to do. And then you just hit import the CD and hit OK. OK, and we're finished. Let's just go ahead and take out the CD now. And here's what you see. You've got our La Mulana original soundtrack 1. This is disc 1. And I'm going to go ahead and I'll put in 2 just to show you how this is going to look. So let's put in disc 2, and we're going to do the same kind of thing. The one important thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you keep the album name the same. So we're going to hit No again. We're going to go to CD Info, and we're going to change it to Original Soundtrack. Now you see it automatically came up with this because it's already in my database. And we're going to change this to disc number 2 of, oh, I should have put 4 on here earlier. Uh, so I'll have to correct that. But I'll show you how to correct that, actually, in a little bit. So we put disk 2 of 4 on that, and just click OK. And then we're going to import that. And hit OK. OK, that's done. Let's remove our CD here. OK. So now I want to show you a few things. You can see here, our, if you click on our album, we have disc 1 and disc 2. And they're labeled with 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 12. Okay? And if you look in the folder on your hard drive for the actual files itself, this is the My Music Nigoro folder, you can see here this is La Mulana Original Soundtrack. And if you click on that and go in here, you can see that the file names have been listed with 1-01. That's disk 1, track 1. And then down to 2-02. Two, uh, two two. So it actually organizes your file names as well as your, um, in, you know, in your iTunes, which is really helpful. Uh, now, the last thing I want to show you is how to fix a few things and also how to do artwork. So... Uh, first, we're going to show you how to fix any mistakes that you might have. Uh, and a second ago, we made our mistake. We list, we incorrectly labeled the disk one files as disk one of two instead of disk one of four. So we're going to go ahead and fix that now. And since we only made that mistake on disk one, we're going to highlight the files from disk one only. And then we're going to right-click them and hit Get Info. Now, so that shows you here disk one of two. 
And now see, if you were to select all of them and hit get info, you'll see that there's a dash here where it says disk number of and this dash means that the files all have different data. So anytime you have files that don't have the exact same data, you'll see a dash. If there's no data, it'll look like this because we, you know, we don't have an album artist here. The artist is Nigoro, uh, and you can see these dashes. That means that these are all different. So let's go here again and select these. Hit Get Info, and you can see this doesn't say different. The track numbers are of course different but they all are of 24 because there's 24 tracks. So we need to change that to 4 and then hit OK. And then that will adjust them. Now the next thing I want to show you is what do you do if you've already imported something as multiple disks and you want to fix it so that it's all one. So what I've got here is this is disk 3 that I've already ripped uh, with the default, just the way it was default. So if you look at your folder here, you can see there's a La Mulana 2 folder here, and then there's the La Mulana original soundtrack, which we had. So we're going to fix this one, and what we're going to do is we're going to right-click, and usually you can just right-click on the album itself. You don't have to actually select all the files like we did earlier. You can do that, but you don't have to. You can just right-click on the album itself and hit Album Info. Okay, so now we're going to change this. We're going to change this from 2 to original soundtrack, and we're going to make this disk number 3. Uh, it's going to lag for a second there. Disk 3 of 4. Okay. There we go. And now you see it has just rolled disk 1 and 2 and 3 away, and it should show up in here. If it doesn't show up in here, it might be, you know, sometimes it actually takes a second to refresh. If not, this is something that iTunes has trouble with. If not, what you can do is you can go in here and you can actually grab all these files or just grab the folder and hit that and link it. And then iTunes should re-import them. It's not doing that now, so I'm going to have to fix it and see why it's not doing that. Uh, sometimes, like I said, sometimes it just, it's weird. It actually doesn't, you know, update the information correctly. Let's go and just double check. Let's go down here and let's search for La Mulana. Okay. Okay, you can see, so now it's it's all there. So like I said, sometimes it doesn't refresh. So if you see it, it just disappears. Be careful. It'll do that sometimes. But it is there. So let's go back to recently added our main screen here. And now if we click on it, you can see it's it's there properly. Okay, so that's good. And your files are in a different place though. So let's say you want to fix that. Well, you can leave it as it is if you don't mind. But if you want to fix that, you might want to re-import it. Or there's some other options. You could just move all these files into this folder and then delete them. Uh, but that's that's a little bit confusing and uh, I, I'll do another video on how to actually fix the file names and everything properly. iTunes is supposed to do it automatically. It's supposed to actually move these over here and rename them and everything if you do any changes like that. But it doesn't always do that. So, uh, you know, that's, that's a whole other video which I will make for you. But the last thing I wanted to show you is album artwork. So we have a couple different options here because as you can see we've got one file, f one picture for the full, complete soundtrack. This is disc one through four, all of them. And then there's also individual ones for each disc, which you can use. So we have a couple options here. First, I'm going to go ahead and put the album in, uh, pictures for the entire album. To do that, I just right click album info, I click artwork, hit add artwork. And then I'm going to go and navigate to that folder, which is tedious, I know. And then I'm going to click on Nigoro and complete and click OK. And it's now going to update all the files with that artwork. And it takes it a second usually. Okay, so now we have that. So 
if we go to albums, you'll see it'll be updated. There you go. So now let's say you want to use the individual album artwork. I think you can do this. I'm not 100% sure that this works every time. iTunes is a little bit iffy. But let's go ahead and do disk 1. And we're just going to select all the files on disk 1. We're going to hit Get Info. We're going to go to Artwork again. And we're going to add artwork and we're going to put disk 1. Okay. And that's going to do Processing. Okay, and then we're going to go down to disk 3, and we're going to do the same thing. Hit get info, go to the artwork, add artwork, and put in disk 3, and hit save. Okay, so now, go back to our albums here, and we'll go to the La Milana, wherever it went. Okay, now you can see disk 1 has this disk three should if you play it should have yeah there it goes it has a different artwork now iTunes is still gonna show it the other way but the nice thing is is that these are all now correctly done with the full uh, artwork for each album separately like I said iTunes is still gonna show you only one of them at a time but if you go and play it on your player each one will show up with their own, as you can see up here, with their own little image. Disc 2 has its own image. Disc 3 has its own image. So that's the best way to handle multi-track, uh, multi-disc albums. Thank you for watching.